This demonstration will talk to you about embedding a YouTube video into your WordPress blog post. When writing a blog post on a guest blog or even writing for your own blog, you may want to jazz up the blog by putting in YouTube videos which can keep a user on your site longer by watching a video and that tends to lower your bounce rates for your blogs. When you want to embed a YouTube video into your guest post, you don't need any special plugins for WordPress to do it. Sometimes the easiest way is just to go to YouTube, find the video, and then get the embed code. So you go to YouTube and you find your video, and you'll see an embed button somewhere under the video. Click on the embed button and you'll be given the code you can cut and paste on your blog site to embed the YouTube video. There's some things you want to know here about the code. First, you could set a border if you want to set a border for your frame. If you set a border for your frame, this will be the color that surrounds your frame. The border will just be the bottom color bar that's on a YouTube video. It appears that YouTube used to have a border that completely surround the video, but I don't see the checkbox for uh, setting a border around the video anymore. I wonder if YouTube actually got rid of them. You could choose to have the video play in HD, but this defaults the width of the video to 1280 pixels, which is too big for most blogs. So you aren't going to want to do a plain HD unless you have a really wide post editor area on your blog. You could check whether or not you want to include related videos which show up after your video plays. Uh, I tend to leave it on, but you could leave it off. The next thing you want to know is try to find the box that approximates the size of the readable area of the blog post. I recommend most blogs typically have um, 500 pixels or less. So I would try a default size of say 460 pixels if you don't know for your own blog. If you are your blog admin, you could go into your style.css and see what the width is set for your post area. If you aren't a blog admin, you're just a guest poster, start with something like 460 pixel width. You want to start around that width. Test the embed code and then if you need to make your video larger, you know you could size it larger. So all you have to do is select the embed code after typing in an estimated pixel width here. And I, you saw that I type in 460, it lowers it to a default of 458. Then go into your WordPress blog. Make sure you're clicking on the HTML editor of your WordPress blog. You cannot cut and paste Google code into the visual editor. It must be HTML editor. So then just paste your code and then you can click the preview button to see how big and how large the video is will be in your, in your WordPress blog. In this case, you could see 460 pixels wide. I have what looks to be like a good 50, 75 pixels longer that I can use. So what I'll go through is in this case, if I want to make it larger, I'll go through and make 550 pixels, redo the embed code, and see if it now shows at a better size for my blog. Cut and paste the embed code again in the HTML editor, click on preview. And you can see at 550 pixels, that's about the right size of my post area, and that's about the perfect width I want to use. So I just keep this in mind for future posts that I know for this blog, 550 pixels is the ideal width size for a YouTube video. Make sure when you embed your code in your WordPress blog, you have put at least 50 words of text in there. Fill out the excerpt, uh, fill out the tags, because a video by itself with no text will not SEO your post for the best search engine results. So you need to have some text in a describing of what video you're embedding if you want that post to rank a little better on search engines. So that's a very simple, quick tutorial on how you can go to YouTube and cut and paste the embed code for a video from YouTube onto your WordPress blog. Thank you for watching.